the European Southern Observatory in Chile, a gigantic window to the universe. When night falls over the Atacama Desert, laser beams conquer the sky. These men and their teams make it possible. Three laser scientists of international renown and origins. We meet up with them at a conference in Edinburgh, Scotland. A Canadian, a German, and an Italian. Three different countries, yeah. How is it? It's, it's okay. It's fascinating, actually. It's a different mind and a different... Uh, I think it takes an Italian character to make that go. <laughs> <laughs> A visit to the historic Royal Observatory. The sky is overcast, the mood splendid. And with good reason. Wallace Clemens, Domenico Bonaccini Calia, Wilhelm Kanders, and their developers have put together a new laser system based on patented work by ESO. A Raman fiber amplifier laser that generates artificial stars. Dr. Clemens of MPB Communications of Montreal led the team that developed the powerful Raman fiber amplifier. The idea is to cre create an artificial star by using a, a laser that uh, shines at a wavelength that is absorbed by uh, a layer of atomic sodium produced from meteorite debris. And that yellow light is absorbed and then re-emitted from the sodium. So, you create a bright yellow source, an artificial star, and your uh, wavefront analyzers look at the image of that star, and they deform the mirrors until they get a nice sharp image. And then all the galaxies and real stars that you're looking at will give a sharp image. The biggest problem so far, atmospheric turbulences that distort the sharpness of the images taken of celestial objects. The four laser guide star facility can correct this distortion. However, a great challenge for the scientists was its complex handling for non-laser experts and the reliability and flexibility of the beam source. We needed to take away this uh, special uh, risky uh, aspect of the operating the laser. This is really uh, a breakthrough. I think it's a breakthrough now because people can decide to build these systems and don't have to worry that they have to hire a lot of experts or, you know, the, who knows if we can observe tonight and so on. It took several years of intense research to make the vision reality. And there was another four years to make a concept into a real system. I think the, um, for us, for me at least, innovation is then really useful when it becomes something which is standard for the non-specialist. So the engineering part of it, the system development part, makes it to real innovation. Taptica Photonics in Greffelfing supplied the Repumper, an oscillator with frequency doubling and the laser control software. Dr. Kanders, co-founder and CEO, on the latest product. Here we have our baby. The laser that we produced for the guide star application, it's a high power orange colored laser at 589. My colleagues, please switch on the power. As you can see, very bright light specifically designed for guide star applications. Um, it has about 20 watts plus 2 watts re-pump light, which is very important for the application to be very efficient. The Sodium Star 20-2 is practically the standard for existing and planned telescopes worldwide. The narrowband and tunable laser system will make many new applications possible. But for now, it is most of all an important key to the construction of modern large-scale telescopes on Earth. The real big driver that comes with it um, is very efficient, although it looks big, earthquake safe, high power, thermally shielded, so it has very little effect on the environment for the telescope. The new high-tech laser, a milestone on the way to exploring the mysteries of the universe. If that isn't cause for celebration. Now finally is on the mountain. And uh, I think we're all very proud to hear yeah. now from the customers that they like it, they use it. It's, it's, a, it's a real success. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There are systems now out in the field working beautifully, requiring no user intervention, uh, no failures. Uh, so yeah. people are really seeing, you know, what a, an advancement this is in the GuideStar technology.
Their joint mission has always inspired them and their staff to infinity and beyond. Outer space is to be conquered with the most powerful artificial laser guide stars in the history of astronomy.